the first of the formal models that we're going to look at is Bell Lapadula. Uh, it is uh, one of the uh, original and, and sort of foundational models. Um, and so it's important in and of itself, the fact that it's the basis of uh, the Trusted Computer Security Evaluation Criteria, or TCSEC, uh, the infamous orange book of the Rainbow Series, is uh, um, important uh, on a historical level. Uh, but um, the uh, Bella Padula model also um, provides us an opportunity to look at certain aspects of the, uh, well, of, of uh, security models, formal security models in, in general. Um, now, uh, Bell Lapadula addresses confidentiality, and that's all that it addresses. So, um, you know, this is not uh, something uh, that is complete, and the fact that um, TCSEC was based on it um, is uh, one of the limiting factors and uh, one of the reasons that uh, ITSEC took over. And then, you know, we've got uh, uh, oh, up to the common criteria and stuff like that, and they get more complicated. Uh, but in any case, uh, yes, it's it's based on confidentiality. That is uh, all that it does, all that it addresses. It is a multi-level security model. Uh, that means that that we're, you know, we've sort of got a stack of of la layers of well levels of security. Anyways, um, the uh, you know public information that's the the lowest part of the stack uh the, the lowest security level anybody can in terms of confidentiality that's the the lowest level because anybody can have access to these documents and then perhaps we will have an internal use only uh layer um so that is something that is not to be disclosed to people outside of our uh uh, enterprise or our country or you know whatever um, and then uh, uh, the the top level of secret now I you know th this is a simple uh, three layer stack and that's all that we really need to do to uh, um, address uh, the concepts of the Bella Padula model but we can of course have uh, you know, m more layers, uh, multiple more layers, whatever. Um, and, uh, of course, in other security models, we may look at a uh, multilateral uh, model, where, for example, um, it's not just the different levels of security, but the different types of security. So we may have a, a grid style in some of those models and uh, uh, possibly also um, a lattice model which gets uh, even more complex and uh, you can sometimes think of that in terms of multi-dimensional but uh, anyway uh, Bell Lapadula simple one dimension stack multiple levels so it's it's multi-level security now it defined the concept of a secure state, and that's one that is not going to disclose any information improperly. So, I mean, you know, that is easy enough to see when all we're dealing with is uh, confidentiality. All we are concerned with is whether or not uh, we are improperly disclosing information. So, if information is not going to be disclosed improperly, then we're in a secure state. And in order to maintain the secure state, we have uh, two properties. Uh, one is the simple security property, and that is no read up. 
you cannot look if you you are at the um, uh, if you have clearance for example for the uh, internal level of security that that middle layer that we were talking about there you cannot look at secret information if you were to do so then you could possibly inadvertently uh, disclose the information in any case the fact that uh, you could read secret information discloses it to you and you don't have the right clearance level so uh, that is the simple security problem and I mean it's simple yes it's simple uh, and and that is one of the foundational uh, aspects or characteristics of formal security models is, is we're going for simple uh, concepts, simple properties that will uh, give us guidance on how to secure uh, a much more complex system as long as we follow the principles. Um, so, uh, you're not allowed to read higher than your security level. No read up. Now, the second property is also simple, but they couldn't have two simple security properties. Uh, this is known as the star property. That's not because it's a star and therefore more important than the simple security property. No, it's, it's because, and I hate to say this, when they went to publish the paper, they couldn't think of a name for it. Uh, so they just put an asterisk in there, intending to replace it, come up with a name, and replace it later, and they forgot. So when they submitted the paper for publication, it still had an asterisk there. And so, ever after, this has been known as the star security property. That is the sum total of the story behind it. Anyways, the star property is no write down. In other words, if you are at that middle level of security, the internal level of security, you cannot disclose the information that you know to the public. That would improperly disclose information that should properly be kept at an internal level. So those are the two properties. And that is that's it. That's that's uh, the Bella Pagula model. No read up, no write down. Um, and and look at that. You know, it's as I say. You know, it's very simple, and yet that is what you need to do to prevent improper disclosure of information. So, when you are designing a a system make sure that that system will adhere to those properties and it will not improperly disclose information. Now, you may have to do some additional uh, fancy footwork around this. You may have to get more complex in terms of how you implement that, uh, how you ensure that those properties are in fact followed and adhered to. But that is the basis of the Bell Pagula model. That is it in its entirety.